Uh, today I want to show my home built uh, remote control. It contains uh, two joystick sticks and uh, I can move them right and left and up and down and they are just uh, potentiometers. So they go down to this uh, small board here. It's an ADS1115 and it's an uh, AD converter. It's uh, four channels, so both uh, the joysticks go to that one. And then it's also possible to press the buttons here on the joysticks and there are digital signals. So they go down to this little board here that also is an I2C enabled um, digital expander board. And uh, then they are all connected together with an ESP8266 and also built in a battery and a switch to turn it on. And all the components here are components that uh, are supported in my robot lab. So I can turn on the power here now. And this uh, little board here, the ESP8266, has a uh, built-in Wi-Fi and uh, there is a web server in, in this one. So my robot lab can pull this uh, web server and read uh, analog signals from the potentiometers here in the joysticks and also the digital pins on uh, the digital board. The ESP8266 contains a web server and this web server will show what's on the I2C uh, bus. So here I have that uh, grid and I have one device here on 0x20 and that's uh, the digital extender and on uh, 0x48 I have uh, the AD converter, the ADS1115 and uh, in my robot lab I have a Python script and uh, it just gets the handle to Python and then I start the ESP8266-01 uh, service and it's the one that communicates using I2C and then I start this service, the ADS1115 and it's the AD converter and uh, the PCF8574 it's uh, the board with the digital I.O. pins and then I start an Arduino and I also start two servos. Then I initiate the communication to the Arduino. And then I say that uh, the ADS, AD converter, should use the ESP as a controller and use the address x48, as you saw in the web GUI. And the digital IO converter, the PCF. Uh, we'll also use the ESP8266 and use X20 as an address. And then I use the tele servo number 3 to attach to the Arduino at pin 3 and server 8 to attach to the Arduino at pin 8. And then I define the messaging here. So I have a, a little uh, subroutine here that uh, uh, we we'll listen to the analog pins, so I loop through the analog pins and then I compute the position that I want the server to move to and uh, I multiply by 180 because that's uh, the range for the server and I divide by 1024 20, because that's the minimum and maximum values that I get from the AD converter. And then if the pin is zero and uh, it's one of the joysticks, I move cell 3. If the pin number is 1, I move cell 8. And then I also listen to the digital pins here. And um, I don't do anything with them yet. This is just to see that it works. And then I set the sample rate on the AD converter to be 8 samples per second. And I set up this listener. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the ADS analog converter 
publish a pin array and it goes to Python so this script and it ends up in this method publish pin so in this method here and then I do the same thing for the for the digital pins but I set the sample rate to 4 because I don't need that one to be as fast and it also publishes a pin array and it goes to Python here and it goes to the digital pin method that we have here and then I enable it and uh, if I ena enable one pin it will enable the whole pin array so now I can run this sketch and as you can see we have the ESP8266 it doesn't have any user interface but the AD converter has a user interface same as uh, the controller but it doesn't show any values it's just that you can select the address for it and then we have the Arduino where the servers are connected and the servers are connected here mm -hmm. server 3 and server 8 and if you look here you can see that the polling is going on here and it's using a, um, a REST API so my robot lab is um, posting to the remote control and it gets values back and I think there's a lot of text coming out here so I will try to remove uh, some of that text because it's a lot for debugging so now when I turn the joystick in one direction, the server will move and uh, when I turn it up and down, the other server will move um, but the response is a little slow uh, I don't know why that is uh, probably because it takes time to, to pull using uh, the, um, the HTTP POST response uh, so I will try to improve on that.